Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.72 O Partha, attaining Brahma in this way is called Brahmi, Stitihi, becoming spiritually situated. After attaining this state, one is no longer deluded. If, at the time of death, one is situated in this consciousness, even for a moment, he attains liberation. Sar Ardavarshini Sri Bhagavan is now concluding this chapter with the verse beginning with Asia. If spiritual emancipation, Brahma Nirvana, is achieved at the time of death by attaining the state of Brahma for even a moment, then what can be said of the result for one who achieved this state in childhood? Jnana and karma are specifically explained in this chapter and bhakti is explained indirectly. Therefore, this chapter is called the summary of Sri Bhagavad Gita. Thus ends the Bhav Anubad of Srila Vishwanath Chakavarti Thakur's Sar Ardavarshini Tika, the commentary that gives pleasure to the devotees and is accepted by all saintly persons. On the second chapter of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashika Riti Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur states, This chapter is the summary of Bhagavad Gita, verses 1 to 10, introduce the nature of the person who is asking questions. Verses 12 to 30 give a description of spirit, atma, and non-spirit, anatma. Verses 31 to 38 explain piety and sin within the Vedic system of prescribed duties, known as Varn Ashram Dharma. Verse 39 till the end of the chapter describes selfless action, wherein the fruits are offered to the Supreme Lord, or Nishkama Karma Yoga, by which knowledge of the self is attained. This is the goal of the aforementioned jnana and karma. There is also a description of the behavior of a person who is situated in this yoga. Thus ends the Sar Ardavarshini Prakashika Riti by Sri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Narayana Goswami Maharaja on the second chapter of Srimad Bhagavad Gita.